happened today? Some time ago, it was announced that a reboot was being planned for Tomb Raider, hot on the heels of the video game franchise itself rebooting. Things have been extremely quiet on the Tomb Raider front ever since the announcement. However, that changed today. According to a report in The Hollywood Reporter, a writer and a director have been picked for the new film. The report claims that Norwegian filmmaker War Uthag and Transformers 5 writer Geneva robertson Dwaret have been brought on to direct and write, respectively. John, what do you think of the choices of writer and director for the new Tomb Raider film. It's hard to have any feelings about it whatsoever. You have a director who's never done a Hollywood film, but he has directed a number of films before, but nothing that's ever been North American or, or Hollywood or wide release or anything like that. So it's tough to say. Maybe he's a really super talented guy and they've recognized the talent in him and they're giving him that shot. It's also a writer who's never written anything that's ever been on any screens before. Now, granted, she's doing Transformers 5, which I don't know if that, you know, swells up in you an ocean of confidence. Um, but <laughs> so it's really difficult to say. I mean, you're rebooting this franchise. You'd think you'd want to go when you're talking about the writer and the director, you might want to go a little bit more seasoned in one or the other, but they're going this way and I guess we'll have to see. So at this point, I'm totally ambivalent to it. I mean, I, I don't know anything about the director really to have an opinion. I don't really know anything about the writer because we've never seen anything she's putting on screen before. So I'm completely down the middle on this. Mark, what about you? Well, Roar Uthog is my favorite death metal band, so <laughs> you got to get excited about that name alone. The fact that he's directing this movie, again, I don't have enough of a sample size. He did a movie called The Way, which I've never seen. He's done a few films that I haven't witnessed in person, so I don't know if he's the right director for Tomb Raider, but somebody out there thinks he is. Now, when you see somebody who we've, we haven't heard of before, and they're directing kind of a big movie like Tomb Raider, it's either, oh, they really believe in him, or the studio thinks it's somebody they can kind of mold into what kind of film they want to make, as opposed to hiring somebody who's so big that they can just go off and do whatever they want. I don't know if that's the case yet, but the fact that this, this person wrote Transformers 5, we haven't seen Transformers 5 yet, but it actually gives me confidence that she can handle Tomb Raider. If you can handle Transformers 5 and all the stuff that's going on with that franchise and trying to get that franchise, trying to inject some new life into that franchise, before <laughs> Michael Bay ruins the script, it might be a really good one, so she might be the right choice to do Tomb Raider. Now, Shnup, is it just me or is the director Roar Uthog not sound like he's like the chieftain of the orc clan in Warcraft. <laughs> no, we were talking like about that. this before the show. It's like, I want to send his parents like a congratulatory letter. Roar like, Uthog. you just named your kid the coolest name of it. Roar Uthog! You're your saying like he had to learn how Roar. to fight. Yeah, your first name is Roar. That's incredible. They yeah. must love that <laughs> Katy Perry song. Yeah, that's right. It's a, so, uh, I, I I think it's you know it's a cool a cool yeah. chance that they're taking. I agree. It's like all of his films are or were made in Norway, and I don't think any of them are even available on Netflix or or Hulu for any. It's like I don't know how you could see a Roar Uthog movie, but I want to see one now just so I can be like, all right, I, I know why they hired this guy to direct it. So there's got to be something there that you know the studio that's behind Tomb Raider was like, look, let's get Roar Uthog instead of just his name being awesome. That's like that dude. <laughs> what was that guy who made all the the Taken movies, Megaton. There's a dire directed Megaton by or Megaton. Yeah. You're like, what is that? A creature? What is a robot directed it? <laughs> yes, yeah, so wheel in Megaton. It directs things. Now we've got the strange orc-like ape creature named Roar Uthog. <laughs> he will finish Tomb Raider. You know, so um, and I think you're you're right by saying you know the people just because she's writing a Transformers movie, she's got some other movie that's in production called Hibernation, mm -hmm. but nothing that we've seen yet. So, but you know the way they redid and they had that writers' room of like. Everybody who's talented, like Stephen and Knight, they had all these different people like throwing their ideas into the Transformers universe or whatever. And I think she's part of that yeah. spin out mm -hmm. of all those of all those talent meetings. So, you know, I think a reboot of Tomb Raider is way overdue. And it sounds like let's get Roar, Uthog, and Geneva on the case. I loved so. his short stint in Slipknot, by the way. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.